Hello everyone. Welcome to Neutron Viz Academy. Today, I would like to share how to approach D5 render systematically by using basic photography knowledge. Photography is one of the most important topic in architectural visualization. So, what is photography? We can separate the photography into two different words, photo and graphy. Photo means light and graphy means drawing or painting. So, photography means drawing or painting with light. To get a good photography, you need to control the light very well by using basic parts of the camera. There are four basic parts in camera. They are lens, aperture, shutter, and film. Let's start with the lens. The first thing we need to know about camera lens is focal length, which is the distance between center of lens and image. We consider the lens with 50 millimeter focal length as normal lens as its field of vision is equal to the human eyes. The lens with the focal length less than 50 millimeter are called wide lens. The focal length more than 50 millimeter are called telelens. The shorter the focal length, the wider the field of vision. The longer the focal length, the narrower field of vision. In D5 render, we can adjust the focal length under camera setting. We can also adjust the field of vision and its direction. The focal length and the field of vision are linked to each other as in real life, so we just need to adjust the one parameter. For the small room like this, we need wide angle lens to get more view. So we just need to reduce the focal length to solve this kind of problem. We may encounter the distortion problem with short focal lengths. We can fix this by using two-point perspective function. If we want to show as close as human vision, we can set the focal length to 50 millimeter. There is also a clipping function to slice the occluded objects. If we want to show the close-up view with narrow depth of field, we can use longer focal length. We also need to turn on the depth of field function and adjust some parameter to get better result. There will be another detailed tutorial about depth of field. So, basically the lens control the field of vision by changing the focal length. The remaining three parts of the camera control the exposure. What is the exposure? Exposure is the amount of light per unit area reaching a photographic film or electronic sensor. If the amount of light is too little to expose on the film, we will get underexposed image. If the amount of light is too much to expose on the film, we will get overexposed image. So, to get the correct exposure, the correct amount of light is needed to expose on the film. Let's study how the remaining parts control the amount of light to get normal exposure. Aperture. Aperture control the amount of light by changing the diameter. The wider aperture, the more light will enter. The narrower the aperture, the less light will enter. Shutter. Shutter control the amount of light by adjusting the time how long it stays open. The shorter the shutter stays open, the less light strikes the image sensor. The longer the shutter stays open, the more light strikes the image sensor. ISO. In old days, the films are coated by light-sensitive chemicals. ISO define the sensitivity level of these chemicals to light. The more increased in value, the more sensitive to light. In D5 render, there are no such complicated things to control the exposure. There are only two methods. The first one is auto. In this case, the exposure is controlled automatically. And the second one is manual. We can turn off the auto button and can freely adjust the exposure as we like. It's more like controlling the EV value instead of aperture, shutter, and ISO. Moreover, there are two separated parameters for highlight local exposure and shadow local exposure in effect parameters. We can control separately. There is a white balance setting in effect parameters. To get correct white balance, we can draw a white sphere in the scene. 
Then we need to focus to remove the color casts and try to get the white color. In this way, we can easily remove the unrealistic color casts. Moreover, we can turn on the grid function from display menu. It will assist to get better compositions. In this way, we can approach D5 render systematically by using basic photography knowledge. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Have a nice day.